Hey, it's Reese from Get Fit Chronicles, and this is my week one video, and so it's gonna be the first pit and peak of my week. Um, so to get started on a positive note, um, I lost a couple pounds that I gained while I was sick and couldn't work out and wasn't really eating right and drinking enough water and all that. So that was very exciting and I was really happy about that. Um, I worked out all four days this week as well. I did not let the morning blues and the fact that I always feel like I want more sleep get in the way of me going to the gym all four days. So that was a good peak of my week. Um, the pit of my week, however, would be around Thursday started to get a little bit off track with the way I was eating. Um, I had everything planned and I had all my meals prepped and about Thursday, I don't know if it was that I got tired of like eating chicken every day, um, which I don't eat fish, so I'm kind of limited. Um, but I don't know if I got tired of eating chicken all day or if I just got lazy. I mean, I could eat chicken every day, so. I don't know, I think I just kind of got lazy with the whole process. I don't know. But, um, and then work also played a part um, because I do social work-ish type things and so I have to work crazy hours sometimes. Not too crazy, sorry I had a hair. Um, not too crazy, um, but I do have to work um, flexible hours, I would rather say. Um, so I had some late nights, which means that you don't wanna come home and cook or, you know, or you don't want what you prepared because you just feel like, uh, because you had a long day. So that was my problem this week. But um, besides that, I think I'm overall happy about it. I probably could have gotten down maybe another pound or two if I would have stayed on the straight and narrow. Um, so a little bit sad about that, but at the same time, um, yay back to at least where I was before I got sick because gaining extra weight, uh, I don't know, I did my, I did my hair. I keep having hairs, um, excuse me, and I'm not even going to bother editing it because that's real life, um, having hairs and stuff in your face and in your mouth and whatever. Um, anyway, uh, so back to the pit of my week. Um, so that was the pit, but it's fine. Um, I'm just going to pick up where I left off and continue on. Um, today was... Not a great eating day because I kind of slept for like a really long time. And so I slept through breakfast. So I didn't really get all my meals in today. But tomorrow, Sunday, back on track. That's the start of my week. Back on track. Doing everything I need to do. So... Hey again, so I wanted to go over some of my workout songs. Um, I have a very, very long playlist. I think it's got almost 300 songs. I uh, probably only listen to about 50 on a regular basis, um, but they're there in case I need them. So um, if something comes to mind while I'm working out, I'm like, this would get me through my workout. This would be the song. I need to listen to this. Um, then it's there. But um, I'm just going to play a couple seconds of um, some songs. Um, just let you guys see what I'm listening to and comment below and let me know what you guys are listening to. Um, I'm probably already listening to it uh, because I've probably Googled um, workout songs and um, looked on iTunes and all that, like different albums and CDs. And I've just gone all over the place looking for like the best workout songs. Um, but you might have some something I don't have and that would be awesome sauce um, so comment below and let me know what's on you guys playlist as well um, that first one um, is actually from step up three I have varying taste disclaimer um, I listen to all kinds of music so um, don't expect for these songs to make any kind of sense to you they make sense to me um, because I can process it and I live with myself so um, the first one is Shout. I'm not from the South, but Shouty. 
got moves. <laughs> I know I'm going to hear about that from somebody. Um, by Get Cool. Shawty got moves. I'm from New York, and we say shorty. That's a lot easier off of the tongue, um, as you guys can see. Um, so that's a good song. This is a good, like, just dance song in general. Um, alright. And this is actually a cool song that I just found on accident. It's, um, called Left Eye by... Rashawn. Mm. Um, that's an angry song. I don't know. Um, I didn't really like this song. I thought it was horrible. Um, by Kendrick Lamar, Humble. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't know. It works for uh, working out. So, I've been tolerant. Um, this is probably like my ratchet side show. I do have a ratchet side. Um, I don't let it come out too often. So, you guys are lucky. You're welcome. Um, but, I love this song. <laughs> um... That was so terrible. I promise I listen less to the words and more about like the the music and the tune. So yeah. I'd be like, she said she's a Christian and she's listening to music with cuss words. You know, there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna be all judgy wedgy, but I'm telling you, like it's not even like that. I don't know half the words. I just I like this song. Um, it is. Oh, and that was Bands Maker Dance by Lucy J. Um, this one is Lap Dance by Annie Yardy. Nerd. Um, this is the song. I don't remember where I heard this song from the first time. But, um, good one. I don't know why. I guess this came out in 2013, but for some reason, I just I found it recently, and I just love it um, when I'm trying to get hype or if I'm feeling myself. Um, feeling myself by Will I Am with French Montana and Miley Cyrus. I hope you guys can hear me. It's not very loud. But I like this one. Uh, then this. When you do the step up machine, or when I'm doing like the step ups in general. Sometimes I do the stairmaster, but um, when I do the step ups, uh, the step ups too. Like I'll do that and do like some, you know, step up routine um, every so often. Core sweat. My heart beats fast. I actually did it tonight. Um, well, this evening. And, um, yeah, came out of there drenched. Um, but love it. Another ratchet song. Don't judge me. I don't know why I love it. But I do. Sorry. You guys are probably all excited. But it does get, like, Fast. Fastish. So I guess that's what I like. I kind of like songs that change tempo. I don't know. Weird. Um, um, one more good one. Um, something that'll shock you guys. Uh, Saya, if you guys have been sleeping on her, she's really good. Um, this is Cheap Thrills with Sean Paul. 
Um, she's also got the greatest, which I can't really find right now, but that is one of my favorites. Okay, here it is real quick. Saya, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. So you guys can see that it gets faster. Wait for it, it gets faster. So don't be like, All right, and um, no, that's a slow one from I don't know, this is a fast one too. Elastic heart. While well, Mama saw you a bit, I might as well go ahead. Elastic heart. Um, and then last one, just because it's my girl and I can't end my video without giving her some props because I love her, is Megan Trainer. <laughs> She's kind of a um, old soul sounding, like all of her stuff sounds kind of doo -y, and I love old music. Um, I have tons of oldies, 50s and 60s on my um, iPad, so I don't know, that's my old soul. But um, this song is really good too, and it gets a little bit faster too. So, definitely is a good song for you to check out. Megan Trainer, Me Too. Alright, so that's enough of that. Um, Comment below and let me know what you guys are listening to. I'm very interested, especially to see if you guys have something I don't have, because I have quite a bit of music and as you can see my taste varies so uh, I definitely got a lot of stuff going on with my uh, workout playlist but comment below and let me know what yours is so I'm going to hold the camera for this one just because I felt like maybe I needed to be all up close and personal for dieting frustrations. Um, I don't actually have a dieting frustration per se this week. I wanted to discuss the gym and annoying people at the gym. All right, so top three annoying crap at the gym at the gym like I said I work out early in the morning you know there's not a ton of people there there's always machines free the whole aisle might be free aside from my machine that I'm using So, if the whole aisle is free, why, sir or ma'am, usually ma'am, but sometimes sir, did you come get on the machine right next to me? Like, there is at least seven to eight machines on this aisle. I'm on the one at the end, which means there's a whole nother end, right? There's a middle part too. But you come right next to me so annoying. I almost want to get off of the machines. I'm eating my hair, sorry. I almost want to get off of the machines when somebody comes right next to me like, let me get elbow room. Like, like why do they do that? And I was discussing this with someone and they're like, maybe they like that machine. I might like that machine too. But you know what I'm not gonna go do? Go get on a machine right next to somebody if I can help it. Because 
The ellipticals are all the same. The treadmills are all the same. So just because I usually work out in that spot does not mean that I'm gonna get a different workout because I did not get on that machine today. So if somebody's on it or somebody's too close to it, I'm going to go to the other end. You know what? I'm not even, I'm not even get on it at all. I might say, you know what? I'm not gonna do the ellipticals today. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get on the treadmill. I'm gonna ride the bike. You know what? I might do weights first. And then maybe my machine will be free after. You know, I'm gonna have all kinds of thought processes before I go and get on a machine right next to somebody. But that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm different. Um, pet peeve number two. Dear girl that always comes to the gym in full makeup. And by full makeup, I mean full fresh makeup. You're cheating, okay? Like, it's rude, very, very rude for you to come to the gym in full makeup while all of us are out here looking like mud donkeys. I look like a mud donkey while I'm working out. But you decided to cheat. Come to the gym in full makeup. Like you woke up like this. And I know you didn't, because I'm a girl, and I wear makeup, and I know the difference. So I need you to stop doing that, because you make me feel really uncomfortable. That's it. You make me feel really uncomfortable. And a little bit self-conscious. I don't know if self-conscious is the word. But maybe even a little jelly, because you have makeup on and I don't have makeup on, and I'm not gonna put makeup on, cause that is just dumb. And I'm gonna be like you if I go to the gym with makeup on. Now there's a difference between going to the gym after work, and you had all your make you had makeup on, or you ran some errands and decided to go to the gym. Now those are completely different things. But I have your time, girl, and I got your number. You're a cheater, and I don't like you. <sighs> Put that on Facebook too. Got a lot of responses. Um, pet peeve number three about the gym. Oh, I know. You weirdos that go to the gym and stand around must be nice. You know? Some of you are chubby, some of you are skinny. And it's like, why did you come to the gym today? Did you wanna just be able to say you were at the gym? Did you wanna just be able to tag yourself? Did you just need to gossip? Did you need to get out of the house? Was your husband aggravating you? Were your parents on your nerves? Like, why? Did you go to the gym if you weren't going to work out? Or why are you on that machine that I need gossiping? Can't you call her on the phone? Like y'all are right next to each other, not using the machines, gossiping like you don't have each other's phone number. And then you know what? Maybe you don't have her phone number, but you know what? You can take it outside. That's what I want you to do and get off the machine that I need. Cause I have to go to work. Cause I work out in the morning. So I need you to do the right thing and get off the machine and let me use it. Um, I guess that's it for today. Um, there's all kinds of frustrations, um, but those are my top three at the gym. Um, if you guys have frustrations, um, obviously you um, know what my pet peeves are now. Um, so if you're one of those three doing any of those things, don't come to my gym because I'm going to give you the stank eye. I am. I'm going to do it because it's just, it's, it's frustrating. 
you're frustrating, frustrating to me, very frustrating to me. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys aren't those people. Um, if you are, comment below. Ha, I'd love to <laughs> hear about what you thought of my video <laughs> for calling you guys out. Um, if you're not one of those people and those people get on your nerves too, comment below and let me know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my pit and peak of the week and also enjoyed my gym frustrations. Um, and also you had fun jamming to my playlist for my workouts. Um, I wanted to just end my week with just letting you guys know a little bit of what I'm doing this month. I am... I said I was gonna start the carb cycling and I've been doing it a little bit, but not really to a T. I'm gonna really try um, to start doing that. I read up on that and um, so I'm gonna see if that works. Um, and I'm also trying to do like the intermittent fasting, um, but I'm not doing that extreme intermittent fasting, not right now anyway. Um, just trying to go like the whole 12 hours. So just eating from seven to seven. Um, I'll probably maybe do nine to to seven next month at the seven to seven really isn't giving me um much results i know Britt is doing um some inter intermittent fasting as well um but i also wanted to show you guys what i am using um my protein shake i started using the fitness and it actually does work for um helping with appetite suppressant and um so that's really something that i wanted so i didn't have to take like you know drugs or something um but you can get a good idea of this and this is oopsies um i want to say it's vanilla chai it is vanilla chai um has a little bit of a kick i guess that's the chai i don't know um, and also the fitness burn supplements. Um, I actually only do the burn on days that I work out. Um, I read about each one of them and you know, you're supposed to take them before breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all those kinds of things. Actually, this one is just breakfast, breakfast and lunch. Um, but I've been doing, um, these. Fitness Burn and also Fitness Tone, which I do on the alternating days, the days that I don't go to the gym. Um, I read, like I said, I read on um, the instructions and stuff like that and I was like, well, maybe the burn would be better on days that I work out. Maybe the tone would be better on days that I don't. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, this is working pretty good as a pre-workout. Um, it is also fitness and it is strawberry margarita. You all see, it's strawberry margarita. Um, and it is just, it's actually um, just powder. Comes with a little scooby scoop. And I just use my funnel that I got for 99 cents at Walmart and put it into a bottle of water, shake it up, go back to bed and sip on it <laughs> so I could just get an extra 20 minutes or so and just lay it around. Um, but you're supposed to take it 20 to 30 minutes before you work out. It might actually be longer, is it 20 30? I wanna say it's 20 to 30 minutes before you work out. It's um, just supposed to help you power through your workout. Yep, 20, 30 minutes. It's just supposed to help you power through your workout. So um, that's been working out pretty good. So I've been doing that and um, all the other fitness products. Um, I just started it uh, because I just happened upon it on um, a Google search. I Google like everything all day, all the time. And um, so I was just Googling like what was good protein um, for women. And then so I saw the protein and then like I saw that they had supplements and they had that pre-workout and I've never done a pre-workout. Um, so I wanted to do the pre-workout and see if it does make a difference. And um, it has made a difference. Um, I mean, I, I will say that I feel like it has. Um, I've only... 
been doing it a couple weeks. Um, so I can't really say like longevity, you know, like all the super results and stuff. And um, I was sick, so I really actually had started it. I got sick. And um, so I'm really just starting it back again in the last week. Um, but I will report and let you guys know if those things are working for me, because um, I definitely like to share the wealth if um, things are working for me. And um, like I said, these are just supplements and protein. Um, so I wouldn't tell you guys to do anything drastic or crazy, especially something that I wouldn't do. So I will let you guys know if those things are working for me. Um, I posted a couple pictures on Instagram of like my snacks. I did the strawberries and bananas. Um, I did those for my snack this week, um, like between breakfast and lunch. And um, I posted my Caesar salad, which I grilled my chicken and cut up um, the romaine lettuce. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I cut all that up and then I had some Parmesan cheese and um, had the croutons and stuff. And so I cut all that up and ate that um, for lunch a couple days this week, which was actually really, really bomb. Um, so I'm not complaining about those things. So um, I may attach those pictures as well um but i'm sure you know what caesar salad and um bananas cut up with strawberries looks like so i may not you can go to instagram and check those things out if you really so desire um or use your imagination either way <laughs> so i'm not gonna do any meals this week um but Britt probably is so definitely check her out and see what she's got going on um i am probably gonna do some cooking, some meals, and some recipes maybe next week. So thank you guys for watching this week. And thank you for cheering on Britt and I and subscribing. And um, definitely trying to be supportive for us. And hopefully we will be able to be supportive towards you guys. So thank you guys.